Well, I, I would like to do a sort of collective meditation, tuning into the energies of the star Sirius, which is emerging as the sun behind the sun. It's been hiding behind our sun and now it's um, separating itself from our sun and its energy is becoming more visible to us again. So I will just invite you to close your eyes, turn within and relax. And take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. And take a deep breath in. And out. And take a moment to get grounded. So be aware of your first chakra and create an energy flow from your first chakra to the very center of the earth. And you, you, you're going to be channeling and connecting to very, very high energy frequency. So make sure that you are really grounded, really anchored into the planet. And focus your conscious awareness in the center of your head. Actually, you know, put parts of your consciousness in your crown chakra as well. And then I'm just going to invite you to envision the idea of the star Sirius, the energy of the star Sirius. It's often uh, likened to a blue vibration, a blue ray of energy. Um, so be aware of the star Sirius and be aware of its energetic ray or energetic frequencies of light that are broadcasting from that great sun behind the sun and beaming at us here on planet earth sending us information and energy and so imagine that Sirius is positioned above you and that that Syrian energy is flowing through a column of light or a beam of energy, a ray of light from that star and coming all the way to you here on earth into your crown chakra. And actually, if you sit in your crown chakra, you can sit with that Syrian energy. So I'll just invite you to do that and, and, and Allow yourself to be receptive, to receive the energy, to receive a transformation, an energy shift. And as you do this, notice, just like our, the cards we were reading before were saying, is, are you in resistance to change? Is there any part of you that's not allowing this shift so if you notice any resistance within your space to fully surrendering and opening to the energy of this um, star then simply send that down your grounding so that you can fully benefit from this transformational energy so let go of your resistance be in a state of surrender be in a state of allowing. So first of all, we're just going to sit with that energy in our crown. And you might receive a message or you might just feel and sense the energy. Either way is fine. You might even notice light codes coming through that beam of light being transmitted for you. And then I'm going to invite you to 
allow that energy to come in all the way through. So uh, allow that column of light, that beam of light to flow down through the center of your being, through all your chakras and actually continuing on down your grounding cord so that you're helping to anchor that shift on earth for other people to benefit. Um, and so that you are fully lining up with it within yourself and within all of your chakra system. And I, I invite you to remain seating in your crown chakra, which is the seat of your knowingness, and ask for some information. Ask for some information about the current energies of the Lion's Gate portal, the current energies of the new pathway for humanity, and about your personal growth cycle. What's crumbling for you? How are you participating in this shift? Ask for information to help you to better understand what's going on for you. And I'll just say that the Syrian energy, there are different consciousnesses that exist around that star system. Many highly evolved light beings. Um, also, there is a kind of cetacean energy. Um, and initially, when I was tuning in, I was feeling a transmission that was coming in as binary code, but now it's shifted into very much a cetacean kind of energy. And it feels very soothing, very calming, very healing. Energy transmission from the cetacean consciousness of Sirius with the objective to help smooth the waters, help us stay calm in the storm of this huge shift that we are um, undertaking. So um, they're, they're sending a very smoothing energy. And I'm also seeing that the cetaceans on our planet are receivers of that and transmitters of that through the waters of the earth to everywhere on the planet. So there's this huge transmission actually happening that's coming. I think there's multiple levels of it, but one level is um, that cetacean energy connecting with the brother and sister cetaceans on earth and sharing it throughout the globe, through the waters of the planet to help us stay calm and what they're showing me is you know all of the events that are happening on earth i think there's some countries canada definitely where there's lots of forest fires right now they're showing me the forest fires they're showing me you know the idea of this this very fiery energy burning through the old and helping us rebirth this new earth and how you know that that can be frightening for the human body but that humanity is protected and we can receive this very these very soothing frequencies from them and it will help us to stay calm i'm going to tune into the I call them the Syrian Council of Light, um, which I communicate with a lot. And I have a, a healing guide that is um, resonant with that energy. So let's just see what we get from that. Of course, they're always helping us. They've been there for aeons of time, um, assisting our planet. 
and let's see what that transmission is going to say to us. They're showing me a a slide carousel, and it's a reference or a symbol of our old um, concepts of reality, concepts of life, who we are, what we're doing here, how to live our lives. <laughs> and it's old technology. It doesn't belong anymore. It's an old way of doing things. It's an old way of seeing things. We've done it to death. <laughs> and so they're, they're showing the idea of replacing that with a more advanced, um, something much more advanced and more evolved. And of course, they help us with technological advances. They help us with DNA upgrades, various things that they help us with. But this is, it's like, let go of the old frame of reference, take off the old spectacles, the old glasses that you've been seeing the world through. It, it doesn't work anymore. And because the energy is so high now, when we look through the old spectacles, we see through the eyes of pain, right? So it's, it's it just becoming um, harder and harder for us to live life from the old paradigm. It's, um, it, it's, it's, it's like trying to hold in a, hide in an old um, mechanism that its flaws show up in the light really powerfully and really strongly. So it just doesn't work anymore. And then there's a transmission coming in in a kind of pink vibration, actually, which is feels um, just love. We love you. <laughs> You're part of our family. We love you. And, and we embrace you in our light. And um, there is hope for you. Always. So allow yourself to open to receive that help, to receive the love, to receive the calming energies, to receive whatever information is most relevant for you. And if your life is changing in a way that scares you, Ask for their help. Change is positive. It's evolutionary. It's expensive. We are stepping up in vibration. So they're reaching out a helping hand, just grab the hand and allow it to pull you up to the next rung of the ladder. There's a song playing, love is all around you. <laughs> I feel it in my fingers, I feel it in my toes. So allow yourself to absorb that love on a cellular level. And know that you are protected. Know that you are loved. Know that you are safe. It is safe for you to shift. And feel yourself letting go of what is already crumbling. And 
which you can't prevent from crumbling. So just allow it to crumble. Allow it to go. Release it now. And as it releases down your grounding, open to receive the new earth, the new frequencies, the new program, the new reality program. And trust your own higher being. This is unknown territory for us. We've never been here before. We don't know what the future has in store, but your higher being has it mapped out for you. You can't control it, but you can be the receiver of guidance about it. You can keep that gateway open within yourself of that transmission, that beam of light that's coming from um, Sirius to Earth. You don't have to close it down unless you want to. But you can just allow that column of light to continue flowing through you, to you and through you. So I will invite you to open your eyes and uh, we'll complete that meditation. Of course, you can go back into it in your own time. You can connect with those energies again if you want to. <laughs> I'd be interested if people type in the comments, uh, what was there, what was your experience? What did you notice about the energy of the Lionsgate portal and the energy from Sirius? What did you pick up on? Very clear, beautiful energy. And I love the intermingling of <laughs> the different aspects of the cetacean energy and the um, energy of, of, of the higher consciousness, light being collective energy. So what do you think, Corey? Do you think we should have a break and come back to chat or? Yeah, we have some of the uh, yeah. oh, that's good. comments that you were asking for earlier. Brilliant, yeah. Not many, but enough to. Yeah, enough to. Okay. Um... Okay, so Brian, Brian says, you aren't kidding Dr. Leslie. <clears throat> If I try doing doing anything that's out of alignment, old routines, habits, etc., I can can't push myself to do it. There's no energy. It's kind of like apathy. Yet if it's intuitive or spiritually guided, it's effortless. That's been going on for me for some time. Yes, like realities. He says then the comment on your thing. Yes, look, real. It's like realities being written, rewritten. Yeah. And then Amber true. says. Coming from different directions, Mother Earth and all elements, especially in the sun right now. And then Brian says, it feels like making connections, connecting with people, groups and plants and animals seem to be of primary importance. Katie says, all of this totally resonates with me. Thank you for sharing. Brian's got another one here. Let me see what this one says. Brian says, uh, that's what I got, this new world. We're already in it, operates by different rules, and that old rules don't apply and will no longer work. Thank you, Brian. And, you know, I remembered another thing that I was going to add about my week. I have had an unusually high number of people who want to lose weight. Again, about five people who want to, the thing has been to, about losing weight. and 
I think that goes along with the theme of dropping off the old sludge, you know, dropping off the old stuff that we're carrying around so that we can, um, you know, be, um, I don't, can't think of the word, <laughs> but you know, you feel better if you drop off all that excess weight. And I, I think that that's not unrelated that people are saying, oh, I need to slough off this old stuff. It's showing up on a physical level for people as well. Okay, we need to go to a break, Dr. Leslie. Thank you. We'll be back after these messages. Welcome back, everybody, to the final segment of Unlocking Your Truth this evening on the 8th of August, the Lionsgate portal, where we've been talking about the energy of, well, we've been in that window of the Lionsgate portal, which seems extremely powerful and world shaking. People's worlds and lives are being shaken up. I've had so many stories of people who are like, this is ending, that's ending, you know, whether it's jobs, businesses, relationships, um, where they live, even down to what even country they live in, not, not let alone what house they live in, that there's this shaking up going on because there's this sharp 90 degree turn in energy that our reality is being rewritten. Um, and the other thing I noticed and I've other people said, as well this week was um I remember somebody said to me I feel like my energy is sideways like I feel like <laughs> I'm lying down even though I'm standing up and yesterday I had this I wasn't I felt like I was at an angle and I I was like normally standing or sitting but all day I was trying to make my energy line up <laughs> because it was di it felt diagonal so there's been some funny experiences like that as well as we are adjusting to this energy shift. So folks, you can ask your questions. <laughs> yeah. um, Denise said, I felt blocked with the meditation. Okay. Yeah, I can take a look at that. And it's funny, you know, when I first opened up to doing it, I did too, I felt that's why I said, oh, and if you feel resistance, release it down your grounding, because I noticed with myself, I was trying to bring this energy in and there was some energy around my crown that wasn't letting it in. So I had mm. to let it go. So so and I think that that's just, you know, sometimes we resist change. It frightens us. So we get into resistance and sometimes we're stuck in our old ways. And so I think that it's really just that, Denise. But let's have a look. Well, I don't see that you failed completely to receive that energy. I mean, it looks like some of it did <laughs> did get through, especially the calming blue energy. Um, it feels like there's a challenge for you in letting go of a kind of old world view about what is, in a way, it's like what's right and what's wrong and who's right and who's wrong. And it's sort of like a worldview of, well, we're the good ones because we believe X, Y, Z, you know, and they are out of alignment because they believe A, B, C. But meanwhile, what we're shifting into is acceptance of everyone and allowing everyone to have their unique perspective and not being polarized at all. So it looks like it hit these concepts embedded, um, especially around the head and the crown that that are, you probably won't, don't see them as judgments within yourself, but they are a kind of judgment. Um, because we can, we can kind of fool ourselves and say, well, I'm very spiritual and I don't know, I'll make some things up. I'm not reading, you know, you know, I'm a vegan. I don't eat animals because those people who do eat animals, that's, that's, that's wrong. Or, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't use, uh, the conventional healthcare system because I don't believe in big pharma and, and, and but those who do and that's wrong you know 
and 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 so it looks like in order to welcome in the new earth you have to open up and say all beliefs are valid i get to choose mine they get to choose theirs we get and so long as we're choosing what's authentic for us we get to live together in harmony so i'm seeing that that was what the block to receiving in the meditation was for you okay uh, brian says that's what i got this new world we're already in it it operates by different rules and that the old rules don't apply and will no longer work i don't know if i read that one out already i think you did that's yeah, good to remind us on okay and Um, and Amber asks a question, can you elaborate on the cessation energy, oceanic, oceanic energy? I had a pilot whale channeling with a group today. Very curious. I don't know if that's something we can. Cetacean, C-E-T-A-C-E-A-N. And it's our classification of whales and dolphins and those types of beings now we tend to think oh well we're the only evolved species on this planet <laughs> and it's not true um and so the the whales and the dolphins are very aware evolved species and so um I'm not exactly sure how you'd like me to elaborate on it, but the idea is that there are species of cetaceans that exist in other planetary systems, including Sirius, and that um, what I was picking up on in the meditation was that there, that um, that that's a part of the transmission of information that's coming to us from Sirius, and that there is a we could call it a genetic connection between the cetaceans there and here that enables a, actually it's coming up a very heart-centered um, receptivity and that our cetaceans are helping obviously in this evolution of consciousness on this planet by transmitting um these loving calming accepting energies throughout the world and um if you think about the work of um masuro imoto the hidden messages in water and how water can be programmed um energetically to carry certain frequencies it felt like this is what our cetaceans are doing for us they're helping program the waters of the earth with love I hope that helps. <laughs> you can be more specific in the way you ask me, and I might be able to give more specific information. Which you're good at. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, Brian. Brian says, Dr. Leslie, I've been having these bizarre dreams after only sleeping for a few minutes, mostly in the morning. I'll look at the clock and then be somewhat aware of my surroundings yet i'm also dreaming i i can recall the dream it doesn't feel like out of body but usually science says it takes about 90 minutes to start dreaming i've had the ability for some time i'm wondering if you could tell me what's going on there it's really fascinating because it does seem outside the rules and science realm when i look at the clock it says it's only 10 to 15 minutes after i passed and I'm very aware of it, though. That's the second comment, so. Yeah, and it's funny that you mentioned that, Brian, because the, the second theme that I might have talked about tonight was dreams, because that's the other thing that I've noticed this week is very um, vivid and interesting dreams. So, so 
Um, well, the first thing is, it just feels like you're opening up to your multidimensionality. And yes, there's a scientific thing that talks about REM cycles and the sleep cycle and all of that. But, you know, when we're asleep, those the, in the past, those dreams have been our um, experience of entering into multidimensionality. We've not, most of us, done it while we're wait, awake. But we're starting to be able to access our multidimensional consciousness from the waking state, which dolphins do, by the way. Half of their brain sleeps at a time. Uh, our whole brain sleeps, right? But half of their brain sleeps and then it switches to the other half. So they're always um, aware of both the physical and non-physical. So it, it sounds like it's an expansion into multidimensionality where you are experiencing multiple realities simultaneously. Because, you know, we people say, oh, well, it's just a dream. It's just your imagination. That's another reality. It's, you know, what you experience in your dreams is real. It's, a, it's another reality that's taking place in a non-physical plane, but it's still uh, real. <laughs> So I think that's what's happening there with you. Um, and I'll, I'll see. And also, of course, that experience of, I mean, time. What is time? It's you're, you're, there's no time in non-physical reality. You can live a thousand years in a second. So absolutely. So, so that makes sense to me that time doesn't have to have passed to have have collected this package of a lot of information that you're then aware of in your consciousness. Hmm. Okie dokie. Yeah, she just adds something to that. She says, uh, there was a group of pilot whales that beached themselves in the UK recently. They were channeled today. So there were so many unanswered questions. Okay. That's Amber with her yeah, just thing a, about doing a meditation comment, with the yeah. pilot whales earlier. Yeah. yeah. And Amber says, all beliefs are valid is a message I needed to hear. Thank you. This is from Andorini. Oh, and Brian says, wow, that's incredible. Thanks so much for looking. And this is from Andorini. Could you please check if I'm connecting and receiving the energy? I feel needed guidance badly. Okay, it, it, it's similar, but not exactly the same as to these. So, so yes, I do see that you are, but I'm seeing that what's happening, somehow you're translating it in a certain way within your system. And it reminds me of, you know, if you look at a beam of light that hits the water, that beam of light is going straight, and then it hits the water, and then it starts to look like it's going diagonally because the water reflects, refracts the light. So it feels like something similar is happening within your system that the energy is coming in, but it's getting um, refracted by something within your system. And what I'm seeing is it's basically the, vi the vibration of extreme invalidation, which is causing you to doubt it um, but that invalidation is up is part of this what's up for crumbling and releasing. Um, so I'm seeing that. So we want to encourage you just it's it just let go of the invalidation. But then the what I see, what I see as well is it's like the blue coming in turns into a different blue when it comes into your system a different frequency of blue and I'm trying to see what what's the mix <laughs> it's coming in in one vibration and then you're shifting it into another vibration so I'm just trying to see what that is but in some senses everybody's going to receive it di differently and in their own unique way 
and everyone's going to sort of transmit it in their own unique way. So that's part of it. Um, There's something to do with sort of self-concept, your concept of self, your concept of who you believe you are, and letting go of some old ideas about who you believe you are so that you can become more of who you are. And... Um, It, it, the symbol for that is one of those playing card people from the um, Alice in Wonderland. It's like you've been told you're the, I don't know, eight of hearts or something. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, that's not really who you are, but you've been playing that role because you've been told so often, well, this is who you are, this is who you are, this is who you are. So, so I, I'm seeing it is getting through Oops. and you're just thinking it's not because what it's touching is invalidation and then that's making you doubt it. Next. Well, that's it, Dr. Leslie. Oh, okay. There's no next. There's no next. There's no next. Well, so... thank you all for participating. Shall I pull one more of these cards just to finish off? Yes, if you do it quickly. I'll just ask for something that's got a message for the, the listeners of the show tonight. Ooh. Galactic core, the pulse of light. Galactic core, the pulse of light. Well, isn't that beautiful? So that to me is talking about the center of the Milky Way, which is a star in the Pleiades called Halcyon. I often channel information from that place. It's beautiful. I'll tell you what it says here. Like a great galactic clock, the galaxy's core calibrates the rhythm of the evolution of consciousness through its wave emissions. Ancient civilizations such as the Maya were fully connected to it and were able to plot a galactic calendar using this wisdom. All life, including you, can feel this pulse from the core. Look out into the night sky and connect with the dark spot in the Milky Way. Let yourself breathe in this energy, resetting you to the natural pulse of the universe. You cannot rush evolution. This card is a card of trust. Let go and allow the universe to work through you. Well, Wonderful. Like big, that's like the sun behind the sun behind the sun. That's like big picture, central core energy of our galaxy. Yeah. And now it's time to go... Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much.